Truly. You know, I was this um, gay boy in the early 60s that um, was not like Alan. You know, I wasn't so interested in straight boys. I was interested in other gay boys. And that created a barrier in the community that was on the Lower East Side. But Thule, Thule always had a heart that took in everyone whose humanity he experienced. So from the very beginning, Thule taught me that to be a provocateur, one looks to the artist, to the poets and the musicians, and not just to the political activists who sometimes lack that spirit of humanity and compassion that has to always fuse through politics, rebellion, resistance. He also taught me that having a sense of humor was very, very important. That sex was just as important as the higher chakras that it wasn't wrong to talk about sex and revolution at the same time. He was, at least for me, and I believe for the other people that started with the Yippies, a real role model of how to have fun and make revolution at the same time. What do we do here on a day like today? We remember, we look at each other, you know, we see where those of us still alive truly has a message for us gray-haired people, is that you just keep living in the present and moving forward. To thine own self be true, have a good time, don't let anyone bullshit you, and tell the leaders that the only way that they get to be that is to be true to the people, the artist, and the community from which they came. Truly, you lived a long life. That's something to be, that we have to recognize. This was an old man, and it's something that I hope that we can all model. Thank you.